It's Monday, January 26th, and you're listening to the Three Nerds in a Basement podcast. I'm Vince. I'm Blavin. And I'm Anthony. And this is the Geek Chic Culture Show where we talk about all the cool things in the world. Full house tonight. Uh, we're all here. We've got a live studio audience. They're in the background. They're doing stuff. They're doing their own stuff. How you guys been this week? Blavin? You been okay? Good. Good. Still bundled up. Is it cold out there? Yeah, it's cold. Yeah? Is it cold in here? No. <laughs> oh, okay. No. It's, 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 it's getting warming up, but... All right. Ugh. You okay there? Oh, uh, so my, my head was itchy. Lice? Yeah, lice I, think I, I think I got lice. You okay. guys should watch out. Shave your head. Yeah? You been good this week? Yeah. Good. I hope so. No. No, I've been good, yeah. It's, it's fun. You guys do anything special? Yes, actually. But uh, we'll talk about that uh, during my week. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe. <gasps> All right, no spoilers. Okay. Spoilers. Cool. Let's just jump into our picks of the week because we don't have a review. I'll start this one. Big, Whoa. big comic announcement, guys. T- tell me. So, if you're a Marvel fan, drop everything. <laughs> okay. Marvel Universe is coming to an end. Yay! Like... All of it is coming to an end. So are they bankrupt? Like, what's going on? No, I think they're doing that whole, like, rebooting everything. Like Again? 252 oh style? Oh my gosh. I thought they just did that. No, but that, that was, they're doing a hard reboot. Like, oh, wow. Like, it's they're erasing everything. Like, oh, DC's yeah. hard reboot? Uh-huh. Oh. Damn, different. son. I think, uh, and I think it makes sense, since the whole movies have brought in all sorts of fan bases, and they're like, do I have to know about so-and-so and and -and so-and-so? So, So right now, yes. Damn, hard reboot, eh? So now kids can grow up, be like, I was there from the beginning! (laughs) From the beginning of the Marvel Universe! Or man babies like us, we can be like, oh, I was there from the beginning in my 20s. Yeah. (laughs) I think that means uh, not only the Prime Universe, but every other world. So the Ultimates is gone. Oh, snap. Like, everything. That's pretty cool. And I know it doesn't really affect us at all. I don't know. I learned my lesson from New 52, Mm -hmm. is that I don't like collecting comics. Mm. So. Me neither. Yeah. But it's interesting. What, do they know how it's going to be reset? Like, is there a villain? Is there... Yes. Is there equivalent of their flashpoint? At the end of the April run of The Secret Wars, something is going to happen. Okay. Is the Flash going to appear? The Secret Wars, wasn't that a thing that happened in like the 60s where yeah. people in were... In the yeah. 80s. In the 80s, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. That's how Spider-Man got his black suit. Like, black suit, yeah. So uh, they're redoing it now? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, weird. Mm-hmm. Secret Wars will come to an end. Uh, Marvel has announced they are... They, for, they first announced that they were going to end the Avengers comic with the release of the Avengers movie. Okay. Uh-huh. And then they said, well, that's just the start. We're going to end everything. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's pretty good. Yeah. So that's exciting. Very. I just, yeah, I wonder if they'll, like, obviously they'll bring back all the regular stuff, but I wonder if they'll use this as a chance. Will they? <gasps> well, they'll bring back most of the regular stuff. Will they? <laughs> Iron Man's dead. <laughs> what if What if Spider-Man isn't the face of Marvel anymore? I can, I can actually see that if they want to. Don't wanna, say that. I can see that. If they want to make it someone from the Avengers, because they're more popular you? in the mainstream. Come on, man. Don't, don't say that. Come on, man. I can see that happening. But I'm saying, like, I wonder if they'll use this opportunity to make new superheroes. Like, uh, obviously, the, yeah. but like, I don't know. Like, who I cares? Don't, yeah, I don't really feel that like New Fifty or New Fifty Two did that. Yeah, yeah, they did. Who did they? Who did they make? They made like that. The whole like Batman Inc. All that kind of shit. Like, oh yeah, but like that's still around. Yeah, but Batman. The, but then again, nobody's gonna be like that. Like, whenever even if they do make characters, nobody's gonna be as popular, right? Yeah, true. <clears throat> yeah, I hope they do gender swaps. Just oh, like, like how they did Thor. Thor. Yeah, yeah. I hope that this it, that the whole Gwen Stacy Spider Man carries through. Yeah, that was a good one. And Peter never got bit. Yeah, Ooh. but now we can have a uh, you know, Deadpool as the face of Marvel as you should. Oh, as you that's true. Should be. That's true. He didn't get erased. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Some fourth. Yeah, he's the one that's all knowing from the past universe. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. Happening. And he's a god. <laughs> that was yeah. the best. Yeah. Okay. Sure. But also the worst. It would be the worst. Yeah. But yeah. I think that's what's going to happen. And all I want is that when they draw their comics to look just like the movie counterparts. Oh, yeah, I do want that. That would be nice. Yeah. Nice to see Chris Pratt's face everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And Chris Evans' face is both Captain America and Johnny Storm. Yeah. Oh, that would be so messed up. <laughs> Are you my brother? No. <laughs> what? You look like a lot like me. Eh, we're a little different. I got more hair. <laughs> I'm also a bit bigger. I'm also on fire. <laughs> mm. There you go. Some pick. Nice. 
Anthony, you have two picks this week. I do have two picks. Uh, the first pick I have is, uh, also, like, I guess, Disney-related. Keep on that, like, Disney-Marvel train. Okay. Uh, Disney is releasing a new show on their kids' channel about an uh, eSports player. And I thought this was really weird because, I don't know, it's just always weird seeing gaming in, uh, like, popular media, I guess. And so there's a new show coming out called Gamer's Guide to Pretty Much Everything. Mm -hmm. And it's about a young kid, Connor, who is a 15-year-old video game phenomenon. And he, after a thumb injury, a critical thumb injury that took him out of the circuit. This is a Disney show, right? Yeah. He has to go back to high school. (laughs) (laughs) I'll, I'll, I'll just read the verbatim, the whole, like, plot synopsis that Disney sent out. Connor. A 15-year-old video game phenomenon is forced to attend high school for the first time after a thumb injury sidelines him from the glamorous pro gaming circuit. As as a coping mechanism, he begins to visualize life as a video game. He is reunited with his three former gamer friends who he left behind for life on the pro circuit world tour and quickly realizes that restoring his friendship is vital to his quest to level up, quote-unquote, to his former glory. Wow. And so the only reason I bring this up is because I know TJ watches a lot of shows. And I want TJ to watch this show and report back to me. TJ watches a lot of shows? That's he watches a lot of Disney shows. Oh, okay. Like, Family Channel? Cable on my TV anymore. No! <laughs> now I'll never know what the show is about. <laughs> I think you're just going to have to watch it yourself. Oh, maybe I will. You're like yeah. the only one here with proper cable. But I don't watch TV. But I you, watch the least amount of TV. But you have it. it. I, I do have it. It's true. I guess I'll uh, I'll have to take one for the team. Yeah, thank you. Be real. You're going to enjoy this. I guess I'll have to level up my relationship with you guys. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's I, I just wanted to bring that up because I thought it was weird. I just can't wait until, you know, he's five five years from now, he's 20. <laughs> he's stripping on the, on the public media, revealing himself, becoming <laughs> a, a broken Disney starlet. <laughs> That is the destiny. Yeah, of, of I can't wait. Broken Disney starlets. Uh huh. But yeah, uh, my second pick is this week. I got into like a, I got into like a BuzzFeed hole. I see. I read this and I thought, why is he putting garbage? Yeah. on this podcast. <laughs> it's like thirty three new chip dips you never thought were delicious, but totally are. Please tell me that's not the one you. No, picked. that's not the one I posted. So this, uh, so BuzzFeed has a YouTube, like a bunch of YouTube channels, and a lot of it is garbage. A lot of it is like top top 10 or people try garbage candy or top 10 un- ways to wear your underwear. But like, uh, so this one it's made by, I forget his name. I had his name before, but I forgot it. Uh, he has, it's things that X do. So X is like a placeholder, mm-hmm. uh, but would be creepy if you did it. And so they made a, se- he's made a series of videos. So like, for example, one is like, uh, s- something that is something that is okay for wrestlers to do, but would be creepy if you did it. And so he's, like, going around his office, uh, like, he just stands on his desk and, like, rips his shirt in half, like Hulk Hogan, and then sits back down. That's not creepy. Yeah. It's just <laughs> weird. It's weird. Or, like, uh, he, he in, a, in a staff meeting, he has his own hype man. So he's like, my client is the number one PowerPoint presenter in the world, <laughs> right? Wow. And they're just really well-made videos, and uh, I just, I, I think everybody should watch them, because they're actually really funny and really well-produced. I know. I watched one of them. Yeah, I really. It's a very dry humor. It's very British comedy. Mm. Uh, but I, I really enjoy it. So, did you like the Star Wars one? The Star Wars one was was okay. Yeah, uh, I didn't laugh at that one. Yeah, I, I thought that was super. That one was the weakest so far. But like, he has a lot of other ones. Like, he has like stuff that like babies do that if you did it as a grown adult would be creepy. Mm. Or like ones that are like it's one is uh, compliments that are actually really creepy. So like one is like you have nice eyes. I wish I had your eyes. <laughs> and it was just, I don't know. I got into this BuzzFeed hole. But yeah. It's cool. You should watch it. So what was it? Mobile games? <laughs> mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. BuzzFeed. Mm-hmm. What's next there? Eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> One day he's going to walk in here with a Frappuccino. And like, hey, guys. <laughs> and, uh, and I, got, I got this new Laco- like bright colored Lacoste mm-hmm. shirt with the collar popped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I'm wearing a visor. And talk about privilege and everything. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm going to head to the go- the country club. You guys want to come with? <laughs> you guys want anything? I'm oh, sorry, you're not members. I think <laughs> I'm going to go play some water polo. Do you guys want to join? It's not water polo. You'd be playing Whatever. Some, like, actual polo. <laughs> yeah, like, actual it's polo. It's just polo. With a yeah, horse. It's just polo. <laughs> Like horse? Was that the one with the horse? Yeah, you can be like ski ball too. Like, yeah. the, you know, you lawn bowling. Where you, that's I, a, wait, water uh, bocce the, ball? I play bocce ball. There you go. That's Italian lawn bowling. Mm. Yeah, I think water polo is a little fun. too rough for... <laughs> yeah. Water polo? Water polo. <laughs> that's one of the horses in the water, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But I don't know, like... After going down this BuzzFeed hole, like, th- there's actually some... Pro- I realize there's actually some production value to some of these videos. Like, ones that are where the people are taking on the persona of someone else. I am not denying but the yeah. level of craft these people are putting into their work. Yeah. It's just the subject matter is garbage. <laughs> it's junk food. And so, like, I've been doing that. And, and you know what's bad for you? Junk food. Yeah, but it's, like, I just it Don't it. say it's good. I just need it right now. No, okay. Yeah, I just I just need it. Like, I've just, all I've been doing is, like, I dropped all my, like, so Pitchfork released their top 100 tracks of 2014 and all their hipster garbage. And you're like, I'm not reading that, I'm going and to BuzzFeed. Like, yeah, no, I'm not reading that, I'm going to BuzzFeed, and I'm constantly listening to a bunch of Nicki Minaj songs. Oh, <laughs> wow. So, yo, everybody should listen to uh, Bees in the Trap. This is an important moment for anyone. <laughs> it's Marcus Mellon, is the time he's growing up. <laughs> Because Bees in the Trap is, like, super good. Oh, my God. I, just, I can't handle this right now. Because bitches ain't shit, and they ain't say nothing. Blave and save us from this. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of my friends, recently, uh, he just won a tournament to go play at Wizards of the Coast, the guys who make magic. In Seattle? In Seattle. Oh, okay. And he posted that, you know, he's there, and, like, they're paying for everything, so it's, like, super fun. We saw him on camera. Wow. So, he was on camera, he was playing. He was playing a deck that I was there when they, like, were testing it at... You know, our other friend's Rob's house. And John got an interview, actually, because he won the match that he was wow. um, getting commentated with. And, you know, he was talking about his deck and everything. And he gave a shout-out to Rob, which was hilarious. And, you know, everybody got excited from Hamilton that he was there on whatever or not. But, uh, yeah, it was really, really cool to see just one of our friends on there. What was funny is that we could see his mannerisms that he has in real life on camera. Oh, okay. like, ah, oh, John does that all the time. Like, damn it. Like, it's just really funny that he does, like... It was just awesome to see a friend of ours like you on just, camera and stuff. You just called him out. Well, no, a lot of people were like, "Oh, that's totally John. Okay. Like that's John's hands, and that's John's like you know way he taps his mana, and he acts like he's totally out of the oh, game, okay, but he's so totally saying. killing you." <laughs> yeah, so revealing his tells to the world. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome to see, and you know, it makes me hope that one day I'll be on camera like that and totally mess up real. So bad. was it like a? news station or was it like an online feed like was it it was an online feed so basically what happened is that at every grand prix which is like an open tournament they do in different uh-huh. cities they have a sunday super series so that sunday super series because the grand prix usually runs from the friday to the sunday and if you're out by the second day you don't have anything to do on the sunday mm-hmm. so basically they have a super series so if you win that you become a competitor in the sunday super series tournament which is held at wizards of the coast every year okay so all these people qualified at different places, like one per, like our friend John, he won in Ottawa. Another friend of ours won in Montreal. Like they all won in different cities, right? Mm-hmm. So then they all come together for this one tournament in in Washington. Cool. And uh, basically, they're at the headquarters. They have like you know the whole feed set up that you can watch them play. Okay. And, and this is just on like the Magic, the yeah, Wizard on Twitch, site? on Twitch, oh, on yeah. Twitch. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it was a pretty big deal for all of us. Like cool. we watched them on there and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it was it was really cool. It was really. Did cool. you guys set it up like on the comic shop? Like no, no, no. Everybody's big... watching it from home. Oh, yeah, okay. So, and then they were all posting about it on Facebook. You know what time his interview was on and everything. And nice. It was, it was really really. That's cool. exciting. Yeah. So one day I hope to be on camera. Well, one day we hope to see you there. Yeah, I'll tune in. Tune in before life. So you get to tell us about your deck. Oh, what's up? This is our podcast creators in a basement. Basement. You got to tattoo it on your cheek too. Yeah. Right? <laughs> at Podbean. <laughs> <laughs> Type me through at Podbean.com. Get wrecked. <sighs> yeah, it was always it was pretty nuts. It was pretty nuts. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that, that's that's my pick. I up. heard he was also facing, or just like seeing it through social media. Like I heard. Uh, that he was, his deck was playing, he won against a deck that was, he's weak against? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's Blue black control, too. I think. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. yeah. He he was, he beat a deck, where his, his uh, interview was, he beat a deck that he, he wanted to play for that turn. He wanted to play blue-black, but he said he played this red-white deck. But they ended up beating the blue-black one anyway, so. That's pretty sick. Yeah, so. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> it's cool. Cool. Yep. Sweet. Any more interesting picks you guys want to? 
Uh, oh, yeah, I do got one, actually. Oh, do you? So, in the world of professional football... Are we talking about what I think we're talking about? Deflate gate or like inflation oh, gate? I heard about this. You heard about this? No, I was talking about Captain America making a bet. No. Okay. Captain no. America? Mm hmm. Chris Evans? Mm-hmm. Tell me about this. Okay, oh, yeah, what this. happened here? Uh, I don't really know. Oh, okay. Oh. It's a video. It's uh, Captain America and I think Ant Man make a bet on the Super Bowl. Oh, oh that's interesting. Cool. Yeah. Continue. Okay. So, yeah, this one. Uh, so, recently uh, they're heading towards the Super Bowl mm-hmm. and uh, there's a coach, Bill Belichick. He, his team was recently called out for having underinflated balls. So for uh, how in NFL games work, how it how it works is the the offense brings their own ball and the defense brings their brings their own ball. Okay. And so I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. So for the offense on Bill Belichick's team, I, I think he's the New England Patriots. I forget. Sure. Uh, but his balls that they used for the game came in two. Uh, Two pounds worth of PSI under pressure than regulation. That's a pretty big... It is a pretty big difference. And what it makes, what that difference makes is that it's easier for the quarterback to grip the ball mm. uh, in very cold weather mm. uh, because it is the winter. And so he got busted. But so to defend himself, he came out saying a bunch of science jargon, mm. being like, oh, like it, it, we inflated the balls, but like with different atmospheric pressure it chain deflates some of it it loses air or uh we rub the balls for the quarterback so the leather isn't cold and it makes it easier to grip onto which is something they do but it doesn't make the balls deflate no uh so what happened was bill nine the science guy came out Mm -hmm. and called him out shut him down on all of his bullshit and he's just like uh i don't know what bill belichick's talking about uh because everything he said is wrong uh the only way to deflate or inflate this ball like uh, that by that much mm-hmm. is to have one of these, and he pulls out a, <laughs> and he pulls out an air pump, <laughs> and I was like, "Damn, Bill Nye, you're the best." Uh, so it's pretty funny. <clears throat> wow, <laughs> I don't get why he tried to defend himself though. Rules are rules. Yeah, rules are rules. But and his team, I think his team is in the Super Bowl now. Yeah. So there's a big there's a big like kerfuffle of like mm-hmm. should they be in the in the mm-hmm. Super Bowl because they cheated, and, mm. or like did they actually cheat, or was it an honest oh, mistake? I and see. even so. But yeah, it was pretty funny that Bill Knight came out. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, quick correction. It was Captain America makes a bet with Star-Lord. Yeah, oh. I just saw it just now. Yeah. yeah. So basically, Captain America said, if or the bet was if the Seahawks win, Captain America has to show up to a six kids hospital and like wave. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Wave the flag. And if, if the other ones, if the Patriots win, then uh, Star-Lord has to go to Christopher's Haven, which is like, they're both charities that yeah. they're going to go to and... Yeah, and wearing a jersey with uh, Tom Brady's name. <laughs> of course, Captain America would be voting for the Patriots. The Patriots. Yeah. The, Patriots. Yeah. the hashtags were funny. It was like, hashtag yeah. what is a Seahawk anyway? <laughs> <laughs> it's like hashtag something Tom Brady hunts. It's pretty good. And then, like, Chris Pratt was like, like there's only one Captain America, and I think he named the, the, the quarterback of the uh, Seahawks. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah. It's, it's good, good. It's good. Yeah, you also watch that. Yeah. It's good stuff. It was actually Captain America who started it. Oh, was it? Yeah, he's like, the Super Bowl has started. Chris Pratt, you're now not my friend, but my enemy for the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Super Bowl's next week. Not that we care. Oh, man. Yeah. Woo! Super Bowl Stuck party. up on chips and dip, bro. Yeah, yeah, Super Bowl party, bros. Oh, that was get, hard to say. Kick out the Coors Light, brah. Okay, that's... that's mm. We got our new vent cans, man. We could shotgun these I've actually, I've actually used those. They're yeah. surprisingly useful. They pour very cleanly. But that beer is not beer. That beer is water. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is slightly alcoholized water. Yeah. So, we all know that, you know, next next week or so... Is it on a Sunday? Mm. Yeah, we're, we're obviously not going to be recording. We're going to be watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> we'll give you we live updates do. as the Super Bowl happens. Yo, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Man, I am getting casual. Yeah, you are. Oh, football. I'm telling you, next, Minaj, next week you're gonna come Buzzfeed. in with your frappuccino and your Ray Bans and being like, <laughs> I have Ray Bans. You're gonna come in. And I Tom, own Ray Bans. And you're gonna be like, you're gonna come in with a Tom Brady jersey, and be like, hey, who's ready? I got my fantasy I, picks and everything. I, own, I do own a football jersey. That was from high school. Uh, I'm glad we have another weeb in the group now, <laughs> in the form of Blaze, since your hole needs to be filled. Yeah. I'm becoming less and less weeb as I go yeah, on. I know. You're, you're losing your credibility. Yeah. My, we, my weeb ability. We might have to cut you. 
Yeah, I don't know. Ruby I still Bell. read a lot of manga. I just don't watch a lot of anime. Hmm. So then cut it, man. <laughs> it's like the minimum performance level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. I got your performance index marks. Don't worry. <laughs> our, qu- our quarterly evaluations. Uh-huh. I'll tell you where you need to improve. <laughs> it's like I-, I see you've been watching more sports recently. You've, you've really now, been slipping, Anthony, and now, I can't really... Now tell me why <laughs> watching the, the Patriots game meant more to you than watching the new episode of... <laughs> On January 13th, you tweeted as watching a hockey game. <laughs> now, why is this? <laughs> I'm like, no! Speaking of hockey, isn't tonight the All-Star game? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is, I think. Yesterday was the All-Star, like, sla- like the tricks or stuff. I don't know, man. I only watch he shows knows. about Moe girls, he knows. whatever. He knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows. He knows. <laughs> He knows. He knows the starting lineup probably, I, too. I bet you he does. I don't know. I bet you he knows who's playing, too. He I don't knows. know. He knows. Mm-hmm. Wait, All Star Game, so it's East versus West, right? Oh, see, he knows. <laughs> he knew the teams. <laughs> that's the same in any sport, though. That's the same for the Pro Bowl. Uh huh. It is. Yeah, that's, I didn't know that's it the is. same for basketball. How do you know this? Because I used to play a lot of sports games. Oh. Oh. Truths are revealed. Yo, PGA Tour 2015 comes out <laughs> in the spring. <laughs> okay, we need to stop this. Let's move on. Sports. So last week, you guys talked a lot about Final Fantasy XIV. We like, talked a lot. A lot about, about Final, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy yeah, thank God. fourteen. <laughs> so that's totally here And for I that. got personal messages from other friends who listen to the show, and they're like, yo, they're really like pushing you on that Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, man. Like, shamelessly. You should do it. Yeah. So <laughs> after the show, I played some Final Fantasy XIV. Tasted 14. it. You got that taste. And I was liking it. I played like five hours, and I'm like... Man, this looks like ass on the PS3. <laughs> I couldn't handle the frame rate. And I'm like, this is so garbage. So the next day, Best Buy had a sale. You didn't come say hi. I was there. <laughs> no, you weren't. Yes, I was. No. They told me that you were there. They, hey, do you remember this guy, Vince Sanchez? I'm like, yeah. He's like, he came in here buying a PlayStation. I'm like, ah! I was hurt. I was crying. Yeah, I bought it from Patrick. Hey, no, you should come say hi to me. I was there. <laughs> no, I walked around the home theater section first to look for you. I think I was... Maybe on break? I figured you were probably out, like, having dinner break. No. Oh, we're yeah. in the back room. That's, what you, that's your problem there. You, you went to go me. get sustenance. <laughs> <laughs> well, easy there, Cash. <laughs> Crucial mistake. <laughs> this isn't concerned you. <laughs> Anyways, I went to Best Buy, bought a PlayStation 4, <clears throat> and then I proceeded to download Final Fantasy XIV. Four Four yeah. hours later, after everything was set up, Final Fantasy XIV under maintenance for 24 yeah. hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're the best drug dealers in the world. And I was like, what a waste of time and money. I used that time off to go to the gym. Why didn't you just work out or something? Because I did that during the day. Oh, okay. Like, I, I went to the gym, then I went to school, and then after I finished all that stuff, I went to Best Buy. <laughs> That's I, funny. Yeah. So the next day. Okay, okay. I played some Final Fantasy fourteen. It's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty so what are you? What are you? So I I am the elf class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You probably okay. know them as the seven foot tall people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thin people. Um, girl. Of course. Archer class. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the character name of Ava Alexandria. I didn't see you with red hair. I was very surprised. No, I didn't pick red hair because I thought it just wouldn't work with her character this time. True, true. Because she's supposed to be an homage to Garnet from Final Fantasy IX. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. okay. That's why she has the name Alexandria. Alexandria. From the kingdom of Alexandria. Alexandria. Uh, but no, I'm liking it. It's got that addictive grind. Not that there's a real grind. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in that game that I don't know how to do yet. But there's a lot of stuff in that game. And it's fun. Um, I have yet to reach the point where I'm, I feel like I need to be super addicted to it and compelled to do stuff. Mm-hmm. But what I will say is I do like the dungeon st- the aspect to it, where you kind of queue up and wait. And you do like a really like a very unique dungeon. Yeah. yeah, and I like how when you queue up, it signals your controller. When yeah, it's that's ready cool. to go. Yeah, uh, I know for you, Anthony, you don't have to queue up because you're oh, like, I'm a healer, yeah. so just instant queues you're instant, all day. You're, you're needed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm DPS like ninety percent of the population, so. <laughs> So when I go to queue up, it's like, your average wait time, 25 minutes. But it's good, because it means that I don't, like, I could be doing other quests in the meantime, but 
I put the controller, or I take the controller with me, I go somewhere else in my house, and then I break up the books and do homework. Yeah. And then when I hear the ding, I'm like, oh, it's time, it's to, time go to go back, back up. Okay. Yeah. So it works. It works in my situation. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm liking it a lot. It, it's really fun. Yeah. Let me say this. I bought a PS4 for it. So yeah. That should say something. <laughs> something about that. Um, and then speaking of the PS4, I downloaded those free games, tried out Infamous... First, first light, light first last light. light, first light. Yeah, that game is, uh, whatever. That game's infamous. Yeah, it's infamous. Yeah. It looks nice. I th- mm, yeah, it looks nice. It's very good. When it rains, that game looks very nice. When she said, I can run at the speed of light, I was expecting Sonic. No. 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 She cannot outrun cars. Yes, yeah, she can. Just barely. <laughs> Just barely outrun cars. Yeah. And these cars are slow. Yeah. These cars are very slow. And I'm just like, what a waste. I really think that's like, if, have you played Second Son? No. If you finish this, you don't need to play Second Sounds Son. Sounds good. That's Sounds a, good. I think that for you, that's about as much infamous as you can handle. I don't even know if I'm going to finish this. Yeah, but exactly. I'm going to try. But yeah. I also have The Last of Us. I didn't try that yet. Download PT. Didn't try that yet. So those are both good games. Well, and one's a demo. But... I got The Swapper. Didn't try that. I didn't try that either. Uh, and then as for the PS4... It's fun. It's good. It's a good system. How do you like that the PlayStation Store is actually functional? It's amazing. Yeah, right? It's amazing. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, it scrolls through like smoothly and I can download stuff. And it's like it doesn't lock up or crash. I was surprised. Yeah, it's crazy. I was really surprised. A couple of things about the PlayStation that uh, I didn't realize you can't have more than one application open at once. Uh, so you can't have more than one game open at once. Okay. Or, or like, I think it's more than one of the same application. Oh, okay. So you can't have Netflix and Crunchyroll, I think. Yeah, that surprised me. I was like, yeah. oh, so I have to, like, close this one? And... But you could have Final Fantasy and Netflix. Or, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my favorite feature about the PlayStation 4 is that you can set the display area from the system level. Yeah. Because, uh, and of course, Sony would do this because I've only had this problem with Sony TVs. <laughs> where on my current TV, I have, like, a... Um, five percent overscan mm-hmm. so every image i have is cut off on the on the edges yeah and on the playstation i can set it to come in from the system level so everything is visible now yeah which is really nice mm-hmm. yeah other than that it's a playstation things what i like things that i don't like but it's fun i really like the it's like some games where it used the their controller microphone you know like a clever way and it never really impacts the experience but it just makes it like cooler like the whole thing where it signals your controller, mm. or like in uh, in what's the Lord of the Rings game? Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of Mordor. Mordor. Yeah, like when you go up to the the forges, those big towers, mm. uh, the anvil sounds come out of your controller instead of coming out of your TV. Interesting. Uh, just little things like that. I really like. In Infamous, that's where the dudes call you. Yeah, cell phone calls come out. Of I your... thought I was supposed to put that to my ear, so I did it. I'm like, wait, how did I pick it up? <laughs> 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 and then he started talking on the TV. I'm like, oh, well, that was dumb. Yeah. <laughs> but I yeah. Really imagine you sitting in front of me, like, uh, uh, yeah. slowly putting it's, it on. It's ringing, and I'm like, uh, hello? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I really enjoy being able to share screenshots on the fly. That's really fun. Yeah, it's really fun. Uh, it's a lot more helpful if you have a keyboard. Oh, for Final Fantasy? No, for just sharing screenshots so you can oh, yeah, caption it. Out. Yeah. But, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I gotta find, like, a... Because, like, the way my TV and my, my PlayStation is situated, like, I can't really have my wired mouse and keyboard setup going on. Mm. Uh, but I gotta, yeah, I gotta fi- finish it. Fix it. Because, like, I think <clears throat> keyboard and mouse is the way to play that game. You just have, like, infinite more hotkeys and shit. Mm. I have a super long extension cord for my USB keyboard. Ooh. It's just that mine, like, mine, it's not that it doesn't reach, it's that the the cable will go in front of the TV. Oh, because see. it's above the TV. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 So. Small price to pay. Mm-hmm. Small price to pay. First price. world problems. Ugh, my life's so hard. Yep. I think that's all I've been doing in my week, though. Just that. It's good. Keep playing Final Fantasy. I will. <laughs> I will. I'm excited for the expansion pack. <laughs> As you wear a Distance World t-shirt. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> huh. What do you know? I don't know if we have to pay for that expansion pack or not. Probably do. Yeah. 
Really? No. It's free? Yeah. It's oh, well, you can't, right? I mean, everybody has That's to That's what the subscription is. Well, no, they did that for... For, uh, for 11, they it was a subscription. You still had to pay for no, separate If you look at all the expansions they've had, it's... For this game? For this a, game? There's been a couple of them. Oh, okay. You don't have to pay for it. It's part of the subscription. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome, because they have a class I really want. The Machinist. <laughs> I want it, too. The Gunslinger. You can put down turrets. Oh, my. I want to be that one. That and the Dark Knight. Is there another one after that? Is there three? Yeah, the, the Astrologer. The, the Astrologer. The Maze class. Maze class. That is the healing class, yeah. Oh, I'll be an Astrologer. Yeah. Uses cards mechanic that no one knows yet. <laughs> so does this does Final Fantasy have a card game? Yeah, Triple Triad. Oh. Yeah, it's in 14 now. Because I was looking Triple for... Triple Triad from 8? Yeah. Because I'm look- I was looking for it, and I'm like, I know this has to have a card, like some sort yeah, of so, card Yeah, so, no, game. it's not it's not out yet. It's coming in the patch. Ah. So they're re- they're releasing a casino area yeah. where you can go bet gill and, like, like gamble and doing. stuff. And they have... They brought Triple Triad to <clears throat> Final Fantasy 14. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, Blave, and this game's good. <laughs> Play with me. No, I've played, man. It's just like, it's just, I don't know if I can afford the time into it. But I do oh, yeah, you're it. right. It's a big time investment. Yeah, it's a big time investment. I don't I don't want to do it. Like, I mean, I have other things that I want to do. Yeah. Like, You can just main Triple Triad. <laughs> but I do like Triple Triad. I do like playing that game a lot. Like, yeah. a lot. Uh, <laughs> the yeah, thing is, is that it required me to know all the cards, right? Yeah. I'm sure there's way more cards here. Yeah, it's probably going to be Yeah, and they're going to keep updating it, too, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I bought the Collector's Edition, so I have a fat Chocobo. That Chocobo. thing's so cool. I also have uh, like a, a fancy lion leopard thing, mm-hmm. and I've got a couple cool minions. What minions did you get? I don't know. It's uh, you should have got the Moogle and I got a baby behemoth. Oh, okay. It looks how, like a pig with horns. How do you get the Warriors of Light toys? Because you have that one, I think. You have the the white mage. I have no. It, they summon randomly, so it's either white mage, the black mage, or the warrior. Oh, okay. How do you get that one? Uh, you have to be. It's the veteran four reward. I'm already subscribed for six months. Boo! Because so. those things are awesome. Their an- their idle animations are like the sprite animations yeah. where they just skip. Damn. It's really cool. You see the... Ex- Damn. Like, yeah. Ha! 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 They got, yeah, I got two frames of animation. Yeah. Just like in the NES. Yep. Yeah. Cool. But yeah. Uh, I have nothing else to say. I'll report back weekly. Forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> Until the end of time. Well. <laughs> we'll see how long I stick with it. Unless... Mm. Anthony, what's your week like? Uh, my week's been pretty good. I've been playing more Final Fantasy. Thanks. I hit level 40. I'm not going to stay on this long. Mm. I just hit level 40, and uh, grinding's become more grindy. Uh, just because story levels... First, like, you story levels progress much faster than you get experience for that level. So uh, I've just been doing, like, dungeons and stuff. And because I'm a healer, like, like thank God I'm a healer because I don't think I'd be where I am right now in this amount of time if it wasn't for me just instantly queuing into dungeons. Mm. Oh, yeah, you told me that you have trouble soloing stuff. Yeah, I have trouble soloing stuff in story missions because I am a healer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that's, like, that's the part that takes the longest. It's not, like, it's not like any sort of party stuff. Like, that's my downside. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's still fun. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I've been doing is I got Injustice Gods Among Us. Was this the PlayStation Plus free yeah, game? Yeah, it, it was another PlayStation Plus <clears throat> free game. Uh, so I got it for free. And it's a fighting game from Nether Realms. Nether Realms. Mm. Nether Realms? Yeah, I don't know. Mortal Kombat guys? Sure. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, that, that plays like Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the thing I did is I played the, I played the story mode. Uh, it involves uh, you going to... Uh, you're getting swapped to a different dimension. And a dimension where Superman has gone evil and he has become supreme overlord of the Earth. Mm. And you have to stop... Uh, and you have to stop Superman. Uh, meanwhile, the Joker's there doing his own thing. and uh, There's just like a lot of interconnecting storylines. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, mainly because they pull a lot of crazy stuff from the Marvel Universe. Yeah. And a lot of stuff that I didn't DC know... Or D- sorry, DC Universe... And a lot of stuff that I didn't know. So, like, the Flash has a treadmill that lets him time travel called the Cosmic Treadmill. And I'm like, this is some dumbass 80s shit. And I looked it up. I was like, yeah, this is some dumbass 80s shit. And he, like, runs so fast that he can, like, cross dimensions or he can just time travel. And I'm like, what's going on in this fucking show? And uh, there's just a lot of weird stuff like that that they pull out of nowhere. And like I think like hardcore fans would probably get a lot out of it, but like 
every time something weird came up like that, I was like, all right, Google, tell me what this is. <laughs> but so, so you liked it. it? Overall, like, I think it, uh, like, I thought the story was actually very good. Uh, and, like, with, even without the caveat of it being a fighting game, but with that caveat of it being a fighting game, I think it's the best storyline in a fighting game. Better than Mortal Kombat? I haven't played Mortal Kombat. Okay. So that's the only thing. <clears throat> uh, but, like, the way they uh, transition from... Uh, match to match is really cool so like a cutscene will lead into a match and then when you win uh what will happen is like you'll say your win quote or whatever and then your character will walk off screen and then once that happens it goes directly into another cutscene you're never taken out of the story experience it's just constantly flowing and it's really cool um uh, any all the deal like so this one comes with uh, all the DLC characters because it's like a game of the year edition I haven't played with any of those because they don't show up in the story mode mm. Uh, but, like, I just want to go through it to see all the supers. There's a lot of cool supers in that game. Yeah. Like, uh, the Flash does his, like, around-the-world punch. Uh, Superman punches you into space and then punches you back down to Earth. He does the Goku uh, thing? Yeah, yeah, he does the Goku thing. But my, I think my favorite is, like, of, I, I've seen is Doomsday. Doomsday punches you into the ground, and he keeps punching you, so you go through the Earth's core, and then outside yeah. the other side of the Earth, and then he brings you back up to where the stage is. Like, he punches you through the, <clears throat> through the Earth twice. I think it's pretty good. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird to play... Like, I've never really been a big fan of Mortal Kombat. Like, I liked it when I was a kid, but, like, I never got into Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. So, like, this whole... Like, it's not a half circle. It's down forward. Mm -hmm. It's not a... It's, there's no Shoryuken movement, movements. Uh, there's a lot of, like... It, any back-forward movement is instant. It's not a charge. It's good. Uh, it's very easy to play on a controller. I like that. Yeah. Makes me happy. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's fun. It's, it's actually a really good game. I just I don't know how much it would affect me if I actually paid for it because mm. I didn't get it for free. Mm. Uh, and then the last thing I've been doing is I mentioned it last week is I started reading Slam Dunk, the nineteen mm nineties -hmm. basketball manga. Uh, yes. And so far, I think it's it's okay. Okay. Like I don't hate it, uh, but I'm not like I'm not like super into it. Should have picked a different sport. <laughs> basketball. Well, like, the thing is, like, there's a lot of sports manga I took, that like, I've been reading, like, like, I'm not really into boxing, but I like, love Ippo. I'm not really into bike, like, bicycle racing, but I love that Yoamushi Yo pedal. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's, like, a lot of sports stuff like that. But this so and so far, there's been more, uh, like, for where I am, I'm, like, 80 chapters in, there's been more fist fights than there has been basketball. That's basketball, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I think I'm, I'm slowly getting into, uh, like, actual basketball matches, but really, so far, they're just in montages. It's just, like, uh, there's, like, a page that explains that they won this game, and then it goes to inter-team drama, and then after that, it'll go to another page that explains they won this game. Uh, but now they've, uh, uh reached a rival, so I think they're gonna do, like, a full-fledged, uh, dedication to a game. Cool. Rather than just, like, little snippets. Mm. Uh, but yeah, so far I, I'm I'm mainly liking it because of the era it came out in, like just that whole style of manga, like the Boncho style, uh, guy rising up from nothing to greatness, and like it's just like that whole like late '80s to like late '90s that whole decade of manga. Mm -hmm. Like I really enjoy that <clears throat> kind of environment, I guess. Uh, and so that's what's really keeping me going. Uh, a lot of the characters are... There's a lot of characters that get introduced really fast. And right now, they're very one-dimensional. And there's not really a lot of depth to them yet. Mm. So hopefully later on, they kind of flesh them out more. Uh, like one character, he's the main character's rival. All he does is call him a, like a stupid idiot. And that's like his only line in the series ever so far. And it's just like, I don't know why... He's supposed to be this big deal. But they haven't really given me a reason to think he's a big deal. Mm. Uh, but yeah... On, like out of it's like a almost three hundred chapter manga, so I'm, I'm like only a quarter of the way through. But yeah, it's okay. Should have picked Prince of Tennis. Should have picked Prince of Tennis. Like I heard, I saw a shot where the tennis shot ended the dinosaurs, and then should've I was picked, like, you should. And then I was like, tennis. it can't get better than this. I don't need to watch this show anymore because this guy made the dinosaurs extinct by hitting a tennis. It's only ball. the beginning. It's only the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I will read Prince of Tennis after this. My uh, my ec my statements echo your own, kind of. <clears throat> You're right. 
I am halfway. No, I'm three quarters through. Are you reading it right now too? Or? Yes. Oh, nice. I'm three quarters through it, and it's probably one of the best sports ones I've read. It's you're right. They do introduce a lot of characters really quickly, but what you got to take into account is that they're introducing five characters only. Like, is that like that you've only, only met five. basically? You probably only met Ukawa, which is the yeah, main guy. Doaho. You probably just since you did fist fights, you probably just met Mitsui. Yeah. And then like, after like this part was the weakest, but when they become a fine. There's only five players on a team, right? Yeah. And their biggest weakness well, is that there's only five. Is it five players on a team or five players at, on the court at a time? The, so this is their biggest weakness. Their biggest weakness is that they have all superstars, five of them. That's yeah. it. Oh, and then everyone else is kind of They don't have the second guess? string? They or? don't have a second string. Oh, that's okay. their biggest, wow. So yeah. that's the joke of this, the series, right? Like, their first star five players are the best, but they always get tired because they never sub out. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, you're right. They're all, like, when they introduce all of them, they each go, each one, like... There's going to be th- that Mitsui is their three pointer, and then it goes for each one, like each of their positions. Yeah, they, that's what it's been going on. And so then after really. that, they start going into like the, the tournaments and then going into the backstory of them. Oh, okay. So you're right, that's is where this, the series is going. Okay, that, that's good. That's yeah. good to hear. Like, yeah, because the main thing I really like about sports manga is, especially about sports I don't know about, is their ability to uh, explain rules and very technical aspects of the sport mm-hmm. while still making it fun to read. And that's something that Slam Dunk has done so far, but so you know how to play basketball now. I don't know how to play basketball, but like I didn't know that there was a like there was a five second violation when Shot taking clock. free throws. I didn't know that uh, oh, like you couldn't stuff. St- yeah, like the really small like there was a violation for staying in the key for a long three seconds. Three seconds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, ver- and just stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna go watch a Raptors game now. <laughs> They do it really huh? well in the show. Huh? Casual? No, I they, don't know. Yeah. They do it really well in the show because the main character doesn't know about Yeah, because he doesn't know anything. What? But he plays basketball? No, so what he is is that he's a delinquent that's good at everything he tries. Oh. Yeah, he's just got natural talent. Is he the guy... The red hair. Oh, red hair, okay. Yeah. Who's yeah. the one with shaved sides, black... That's <gasps> the black... Is he black on top? He's... Yeah, he was like shaved another guy who's exactly like the main character, but he, huh? has, a, he has a crush on the, the helper, the coach assistant. The girl. Wait, wait, how how long is his hair? Uh it's like is it up like Fresh Prince style? No, or is it no, like no, no. Slick, back? slick back? Slick back. The, that's not his hair. His hair is up. I thought that was a gorilla. His hair is up. No, me. Okay, I guess it is. Like it's puffy, right? Misui has he cut his hair and he has like the. No, he has like a Caesar cut. Yeah, like, he has like yeah. a Caesar cut. The other guy has a shaved sides. And yeah, then, like puffy. I guess if you it'd be a Ryota. They're they're super short like point guard or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's sick. He's yeah. awesome. Yeah, but he's he the like, only one I know. Yeah. And he's like the same personality as the main character. Where like they're very easily influenced by women. Yeah, but he's yeah. also like really like he's really cocky too, right? Yeah. They're yeah. both really cocky, yeah. yeah. Mm. They get together. But yeah, no, like they're the five people in their team are like the five ones that they focus oh, on. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then okay. the guy with the glasses. Yeah. But, they know. they wear red. Yeah. Shoku okay. wears red. And they're I think that's what they wear during their home games. Mm. And their away games, they wear white and red. Oh that's right, yeah, they're home and away. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's, it's good to hear that like that's where it's going. Well, the because... thing about the show is like it is actually pretty You said it's 300 chapters. It's like, it's, it's, yeah. actually, it's actually pretty rushed near the end. Oh, really? Yeah, it's weird. Like they get through like one of those big tournaments, but then it's like, man, there's only like 50 chapters left. How are they going to resolve all this? Oh, uh, okay. So I just I just wonder like how far it is where I am at. But mm. uh it's really really cuz they keep introducing new teams, right? Cuz I mean, they have this But like it's really really good because they don't always like win. So that's what's that's the big thing. That's what I also liked about Ice Shield Twenty One. Yeah, is like when a a team is not the main team is not invincible, they can lose, mm-hmm. and then they take those mistakes and learn from them. And mm-hmm. It strengths the, like it does the whole show like thing a of real, real like a real team, team, and like it strengths the bond between the players oh, and the characters. Adorable, uh, but man, like yeah. the main character is the best. He's literally the best. Yeah. He's he's really funny. He's I like he him is a the lot. funniest. Uh, but yeah, it's like. The main thing, the the thing I think this show does well, or is, is starting to do well, is uh, to show, like, the main character is finally, he's he's good at something, but he's never found anything to latch on to. Mm. Uh, so they, they're really good at showing his newfound love for basketball. Mm. And he's slowly, like, this is something that is important to him. Uh, and, like, other stuff does that, like, like, Ippo does that very well with boxing. Where he's just he's just like I'm just gonna do be fishing for the rest of my life, but he doesn't really care. Mm-hmm. But when he starts boxing, he he starts to love boxing for more than just, uh, for more than just the sport. 
like you like, like that aspect. Yeah, I like that. I like that whole like you know you should be doing then what watching Gundam build fighters. Watching Gundam build fighters. <laughs> yes. Like he find they find a love for building Gundams. The redheaded character is exactly the same. I thought he was like an alien. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 maybe yeah I, maybe I should but. But I, yeah, it's. I think it's just that I have to watch it. Like if they had a Gundam Build Fighters manga, I'd read the crap out of it. Don't don't be a fool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so it's. I'm kind of lukewarm on the series right now, but hopefully, uh, I'll agree with what Blavin says about the future chapters, and I'll get like way into it like I normally do with sports manga. Yeah, and then you'll be like, let's go to the court. Let's go to the court, bro. I like a oh, man. I so I I went to the gym the other day. And I was. Please my, tell me you joined a pickup and, game. And I looked, and I looked at the basketball court, and I'm like, should I play basketball? Like, cause there's like basketball events, like you can pick, go there and like play adult basketball. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I suck at basketball. <laughs> it's just a community thing. Yeah, but no like, one's gonna be pro there. Yeah, true. It's just a bunch of black kids. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, I'm like, man, I was like, I like, like, I have a basketball. Oh, uh, I want to find my Harlem Globetrotters ball. I had, like, the red, white, and blue ball, mm. but I can't find it anymore. I wonder where it went. But, yeah, so, sports. Okay. Get on that. But, yeah, that's been my, that's been the new stuff in my week. Yeah. All right. Well, well Blavin's been telling us about Slam Dunk. What else have you been doing? Uh, me? I've actually been playing a lot of video games. What? what? So, because of my new laptop, I downloaded Battle.net. Oh, so, that's dangerous. Battle.net. So, so, I've been playing Hearthstone, and I'm oh. bad at it. I'm really, really bad at that. You're bad at swinging? Yeah, I'm bad at Hearthstone. Like, I'm doing the drafting stuff, and I just I can't do it. I just okay. I prioritize all the wrong things. I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Do you find that game very hard to come back from? Like, if you are in a deficit, do you find it very hard to come back from Absolutely. That? There's no catch-up mechanic, yeah. I don't think. There's so no the, really catch-up. The thing for Hearthstone for me was, like, the reason I stopped playing is, like, if you get ahead, like, even turn two, if you're ahead and you just deny resources, you get all you just go. There's only one way to yeah. play the game, and that's... Full on aggression. Yeah, and there, there's no there's no way to like come back from stuff. There's no because there because there's no actions that you can take on an opponent's turn other than secret cards. Mm. But like those don't really do enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just I, I found I wanted to know if you had like the same sentiment. Uh, I same. just yeah. Whenever you have like one card in hand, they have five. It's like you're pretty much lost. Yeah, there's like nothing really you can do. There's no real way to catch up. Yeah, um, I've been playing StarCraft again. I'm just trying to go through the campaign because I have the second campaign now uh, Starcraft Heart of the Swarm Heart of the Swarm so I just want to see the whole story I guess I should just fill that in now and like find out what it's all about and the Protoss one comes out this year I think yeah the Legacy oh, I was going to say is the, the last one out yet? yeah oh. the Legacy of Void is coming out um, I actually realized that I didn't know much about the Starcraft 1 story so then I looked up a video that's like Starcraft 1 in 5 minutes and man the story is really simple Except the fact that when you play it, it's like very long missions, right? So like, mm. you feel like it's all. But when you like really break it down to its com- like just its bare story, it's actually pretty simple. Yeah. You know, these guys want to kill these guys, and these guys, you know, don't want to kill these guys. So it's yeah, yeah it's pretty awesome. It's kind of like real war. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't agree with you. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Five years later. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're, we're totally cool. We're cool now. Yeah, but no, I've just been having a lot of fun with it. It's nice to play it in better graphic settings. So now I see what the things actually look like. Nice. So it's pretty awesome. Nice. Uh, another thing I've been doing as well is that I have been playing with the new cards from Fate Reforged for Magic the Gathering. Ooh. So I went to a pre-release. Actually, I went to five. Oh. And uh, you went to five of them. Five of them. <laughs> okay. And my overall record was nine wins, mm-hmm. that ten good. losses. Oh, never mind. Aww. And one draw. Um. Womp womp. But now that I'm in the drafting portion of it. I am six wins, zero losses, one draw. Ooh. So yeah. my leg of drafting is vindicated. I hope I do well still. But uh, I'm obviously jinked it now. I'm going to go like 0-12. Oh, <laughs> when, <laughs> when's the full release for this? Is it it's already out. Oh, okay. Today's the day. Oh, or, today's yeah, the day. Sorry, Friday was the day. Oh, so, this weekend. Okay. So you can actually draft okay. now. So, yeah. And then lastly, I actually put a pre-order down <gasps> for Monster Hunter 4. Oh, damn, we I'm talked sorry. about a lot of Monster Hunter 4 last we week. We talked about a lot of Monster Hunter 4. A lot and of Monster Hunter 4. And I'm getting a new 3DS. <gasps> so. So new I black up, or new red? Or Monster Hunter? The Monster Hunter one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I looked up the, uh, the new Whatever. weapons. Not really impressed with any of them. What, everybody? No, I heard the charge shot is really good. Uh-huh. But I think I'm still going to stick with my tired and true hunting horn. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Just, you wore the hunting horn. Yeah, because, I mean, you only need one in your f- friend group. We only need one, yes. And, like, <laughs> that's true. We only need but I, one. But I remember, like, whenever we did play, it was like, oh, everybody gets a tack up large. 
speeds things up by like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, so you also put on the stamina, right? Yeah, I gave yeah. you guys all infinite stamina, yeah. and then like. Yeah. You guys could just do your dual sword. It's how we kill a bunch of the bosses. It's just like, dual sword's on, kill it. Oh, yeah. the song ran out. Give me one second. Okay, go. Bang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it slime? Yeah, the oh, yeah. slime. Yeah, Everything's just... weak to slime. Everything's weak to slime. What should we kill Bracadillos with? Ah, uh, slime. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> slime. Slime. Yeah, that was that was the, the thing. I think, I'm think i pretty sure that mine was not slime, but... Yeah, Yeah. so it looks really, really cool. I so mean, you haven't really... played it yet? No, 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 I didn't play that one because I don't have a 3DS, oh, yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. have one, but... uh. I don't know. If I, if I looked it up. It doesn't seem like your stuff carries over, right? No. 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 It's just like you pick a class and then you go for it, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I heard that you can fight two new things. Yeah, there's two new monsters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of them is like a... This, the, the flagship monster. The dragon. The big black yeah. dragon. Yeah. yeah, is he hard? We couldn't beat yeah, him. Yeah, we haven't beat him yet. Fucking boo. <laughs> we didn't have a hunting horn. To be fair, two of us were archers. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, good times. And, and I was and I was heavy sword. I was a great sword. Yeah, good times, good times. Yeah. Uh, oh, I f- did you read what that uh, YouTube commenter left? What the status effect does? Yeah. Which one? Yeah, what status effect? There's a new status effect that the black monster has. Okay. Uh, so what it does is that it fills up a meter, and what happens is, uh, as that meter's filling up, you when you take damage, you don't get any red health. Mm-hmm. It instantly takes away red health. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I think it's, like, the more you hit it or the more you damage it, the more the meter fills up. And then you can get, uh, you get a bonus out of it if mm. you fill up the meter. Oh, so it's sort of like a double-edged sword. Yeah, it's a double-edged yeah. sword. Yeah. Like oh. it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, you, good. like, you don't take massive, like, so you, if you have, like, regen armor, like, it's useless if you have that status effect because yeah. you have no red health yeah. to regen when oh, you get hit. Yeah. yeah. Interesting to hear your thoughts and you finally do play it. It's very different. It's very different. <sighs> okay. <laughs> also charge blade also uh, charge blade charge yeah, blade yeah. Sword, sword and shield yeah. into switch axe multi-tiered stages why not yeah oh, cool. I saw that we have to like reload it I think you charge it charge it yeah and then like three charges you can't overcharge it or else you just keep bouncing yep and you have to unload it all mm-hmm. and then charge mm-hmm. it again yeah I just I'm just gonna can you use items while it's out no oh, it's, see that's it's not sword and shield that's that's the reason I use sword and shield though that's, that's the, the same reason TJ uses sword and yeah that's why TJ's like I can't use it I'm like well Whatever, my weapon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can. We can only have one. We have to have a, you know, a different one. Hunting horn, sword and shield, charge. Yeah. yeah. I might use that bow staff. Really? Yeah. Oh, the the glaive, the staff. I really like. I really like that insect glaive. It's a glaive. Go go sap some health. Yeah. yeah come back get some debuffs. Yeah. Then we we found out how to mount things properly. Yeah, you have yeah, like to jumping onto them. Yeah, just jump on them. Yeah. Yeah. You have, is there a jump button now? Right. No, you gotta look for like a ledge. Right, and then only the glaive can hit you up higher. Right. Oh uh, yeah, so the glaive has a move where you just launch yourself in right, the air. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. And when you mount them, they like have the animation of trying to get you off them. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like riding a bull, I guess. Okay. But yeah, there, I, I still don't know how to re- how to reliably fill that meter. Right. Because uh, there's a mount meter, and yeah. then when you fill it, it does bonus damage and it knocks them down. But yeah. I still don't know how to reliably fill that meter before I get thrown off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. It's good times. It's good times. It's Can't wait. February thirteenth. Yeah. Exciting. I'm excited. That's like. Two and a half weeks. Yeah. No, that's like yeah, two and a half weeks. That's yeah, two and a half weeks. Yep, it's true. Time. Because next Sunday, Sunday after that is the eighth, and then we have one more. Yeah. yeah. We're good to go, man. Time's relative. <gasps> bro. Getting pumped. Oh, it releases on a Friday. Yeah. Nintendo oh, doesn't it's care. Nintendo. Nintendo doesn't care about Tuesday dates. Stupid. Nintendo don't even care. Nintendo don't even care. Well, I guess that's better. Sure, why not? All right. Anything else to play when you've been doing? No, that's it. I'm looking forward to this. Okay. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Anything you want to list? Anything uh, major events? Are you all pregnant? Uh, I'm no. pregnant. Yeah. You're on diets now. You well, got some food. Need babies. a haircut. I I am not getting a haircut. Did you go for a wardrobe change? I Come had on. Taco Bell for the first time since grade nine. And Taco Bell sucks. Okay. I was an idiot as a child. Mm. I was like, I'm gonna go try like a taco. Like it's like a dollar thirty. So cheap. It's like, this wasn't even worth a dollar thirty. This is garbage. You know what you should have? What should I have? Burger King. Dollar seventy nine Ted Nuggets at Burger King. Burger. Oh, I hate yeah. Burger King. Dollar seventy nine. Value. Man. I hate Burger King. You know. You know. You should have done what? You should spend a dollar at Arby's. I like Arby's a lot. I went for your cold cuts. Yeah. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> I went to this uh, pizza place on Rock Street in the Nova or something. The, the, I forget. The Roma. Or something. Okay. Anyway, they had this one pizza that had fig jam and prosciutto, and I'm like, 
It says Fig Jam. I'm going to try this. Wait, you went where? Lock Street? Yeah, on Lock Street. All the hipster bars. I know. Yeah. It's interesting there. You didn't go to You didn't go to Earth to Table? You didn't go to the Bread Bar? I, I Those are all full. There was like a half an hour wait for all of those. Oh, okay. I wanted to go to Chuck's Burger. Yeah, Burger. Chuck's is great. Man. But I, I'd rather settle for Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell fucking sucks. I don't want a sponsorship by Taco Bell. Okay, so when Taco Bell sends us the sponsorship, I'll make sure to write your name out of the contract. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. And me and me and me and Vince are just gonna go for a week of burritos. <laughs> yeah. You guys can have your half price burritos. I don't want your fucking price. Who said we're gonna get burritos? We're just gonna get a money sponsorship. No, you're not. We're not oh. big enough for money sponsorship. If I felt that we could get a money sponsorship, well, I, I, would ca- be like, I guess I'm not gonna Taco show Bell's you. Taco Bell's the best. This like Taco Bell's so good. Like it's healthy for you. Did you know Taco Bell reduces your risk of cancer? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it totally does. Burrito cancer. Burrito cancer. <laughs> all right, that's enough for this week. Yep. All right, we hit the one hour mark. Good. What? You can always reach us at tnib.letters at gmail.com. Always. That is the place. Or, oh, tell, tell or me. Or you can go to google.com. Oh, that's what I like Or google.ca or google.fr. Ooh. Whatever your country. Dot .jp. Yeah, whatever your country domain is. That's code.jp. Dot .co.jp. You got it. Dot .co.uk. Yeah. What's the cut? Co? What's C O? Why do they have C O? I don't know. Look it up. Google it. <gasps> oh, Meta! But before you do that, you should Google T N I B or Three Nerds in a Basement. We're the first hits. You follow us on the Facebook. First and the last. Mm-hmm. Follow us on Facebook. Like us on Twitter. You know the drill. Uh huh. Add us on Facebook by personal names. <gasps> Did you listen to that show? What show? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, God. (laughs) All right. We're done. See you next week. Bye.